So my apologies, I haven't had an insane amount of time today to really dedicate what I usually do to the uh, Extreme Z battles, and that is to um, get them up to level 20 minimum, and then we run through it together. So uh, what I've got today is I'm going to showcase basically what we're looking at here. It's There's nothing really all that different or special about this Extreme Z battle. Um, if you really want to win this, all your STR Goku families, which there's an absolute ton of them, use those. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is an absolutely stellar leader. Uh, I've been using the AGL Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but at level, uh, I believe level 13, he starts doing, he starts taking decreased damage from AGL types. It's like 70% less. So, there's going to become a point here, I think, very, very soon where that's not really going to be viable for me and I'm going to have to switch over to Super Saiyan 4 Goku. But I'll show you the team that I'm using, or... Strength Super Saiyan 4 Goku. But I'll show you the team that I'm using for now. Uh, and once again, probably going to switch this over to uh, Strength Super Saiyan 4 if I'm a if I'm absolutely honest. But let's take a look here. If this ever decides to load. God, I love load times in this game. Alright. So what I've been doing is I've been locating an AGL Super Saiyan 4 friend. There we are. There's a rainbow one at that. So, AGL Super Saiyan 4 friend, then I'm running the EZA Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which absolutely takes Vegeta Jr. apart. EZA uh, Strength Goten, the one from the family Kamehameha. Uh, Strength Family Kamehameha Goku. Then, of course, the ever-present EZA Gohan, because he's just an absolute beast. And finally, B-Pan, because it's freaking B-Pan. So... Uh, she doesn't do as much damage, obviously, because it is B-Pan, but if we get into the later levels and my AGLs get in trouble, she actually might come in to a little bit of help, so let's take a look here and see what, we, what we're what we doing. Uh, and then I'm gonna run and go see the Don Machi movie, so unfortunately I will not be with you guys, uh, for the live stream, but late tonight, probably 10 if I had to guess, but depends on what time the movie gets out and if we wind up doing anything afterwards. I'll let you guys know on Twitter, so do stay, uh, posted to that. All right. So in level 12, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku should still do a decent amount of damage, especially when he does stuff like that. Um, you know, I'll keep Pan in the middle. I'll keep Pan in the middle. She's still going to get her super there, and then we'll get that super attack off. And then this, hopefully, is one turn. I've rarely come across situations where this hasn't been one turn. And you'll also notice that Vegeta Jr. is only doing double-digit damage to Goku at this point. I'm guessing by level 30, he'll probably be doing a lot more. All right. So, we just got a double attack, but no super, but B-Pan's going to super. Yeah, 378k. Let's see what she does with that. Uh, actually, a pretty respectable amount. I did not expect that much out of her. Okay. And the super just, he, she laughed at it. Now, once again, bear in mind, this is like level 12, I think. And it doesn't really start getting hard until level 20, so it's not really a fair comparison. The one thing I did notice, now, uh, I didn't think we were going to get Dragon Stones with this. I couldn't remember whether they did it on JP or not. But the fact that we're getting Dragon Stones for this, for a, a free-to-play one, is actually pretty pretty brilliant. Um, if you remember the one for, uh, well, it was an Extreme Z Battle. It wasn't an Extreme Z Awakening, but there have been at least one or two that we haven't gotten Dragon Stones for. So it's at least pleasant to see Dragon Stones out of it. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, level 13... Apparently, Goku should start doing decreased damage. So I'm going to do one more run with y'all, and then I've got to run. Level 13. So Vegeta has powered up a little bit. Come on, game. Come on, game. So what we'll do is, after all of this, then I'll come back and we'll cover the very end of this at level 31 and see, you know, what has stood up, what has st stood the test of time, but... Once again, that's 30 free Dragon Stones for you guys, so make sure you guys, especially my free-to-play folks, are doing this. Uh, Vegeta Jr. drops from the uh, current uh, Dragon event, so not not the one we're doing with the Dragon Stones, but the other one. So make sure you get the Vegeta Jr. and EZA him. We'll do a damage test on him after all of this. I haven't even, I haven't even done him yet, um, so we're going to do all that tonight on live stream. So be there for that. Tanish, once again, if I had to wager. All right. So, one more time, I'm going to put Goku in the front this time and see what he does. We're going to take a 
couple of super attacks here, but he should laugh them off, hopefully. We'll see what happens here. Okay. That's more than enough to feed everybody up. And Goku, triple digit damage, so... He's still tanking really, really well. 27k off a of super attack. But once again, level 13 versus, like, when we get to level 30, is going to be a whole other ball game. So I'm guessing by level 25, I'm going to wager... I'm going to have to move this AGL Goku off the team and put the strength on. So so hopefully you have him. But this team, like I said, is I suspect this team is going to absolutely take him apart up to like you know the 80s with that strength Goku. The main reason I'm running the AGL, though, which should be pretty obvious, but the double AGL lead actually will give me um, the, uh, the Goku family category uh, leadership. So everyone's hitting a little bit harder. Now... There's a possibility I might be able to keep that and then hide the Super Saiyan Force off, but, you know, by level 30, he's doing two Super Attacks a turn and all this other crazy stuff, you know. So it's not really worth So thus far, it's been pretty straightforward, pretty easy. So we'll see how far this goes. I've seen some um, teams running AGL Goku up to level 30, but I'm imagining that's going to be fairly difficult, so we'll see what happens. We'll come back. We'll talk about level 30 after uh, the live stream later tonight, and then we'll make a discussion on that, but make sure you're doing this. 30 free... 30... I don't have 30 fingers. 30 free-to-play Dragonstones, plus all the other free-to-play Dragonstones we have currently, plus we just got Battlefield, there's free-to-play Dragonstones there. So tomorrow, I will be finishing up my summons on Goku, so stay tuned for that as well. That's going to be the video, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow the Birdman, hit me up a booker. I'll be back with level 30 uh, later on this evening. Stay tuned for that. Good stuff. And maybe a review of the Don Machi movie if you're interested in that.